I posted a video about suppressing AKs. In that video, I showed this five position gas regulator for the Zestava M90. I feel like the information about this got buried in that video and I wanted to make a separate one showing this gas plug because I think it's such a great product. The gentleman who makes these has really got something good here and I appreciate the hell out of him offering these for sale. As far as I know, there are no other aftermarket gas plugs for the Zestava M90 available. If you're going to suppress your M90, I feel like this gas regulator is a must. The guy who makes these knows I am mentioning his product in my videos, but other than that, I bought one like anyone else would. I was not compensated in any way to make this video. I'm just stoked on it and want to make other people aware of it so they can dial in their M90 for suppressor use. This Zestava M90 comes with an adjustable gas regulator out of the box, but the lowest gas setting on it still cycles my lowest power 223 ammo. So it's too much with a suppressor. I shot it suppressed on the normal gas setting to confirm this and it functioned reliably, but it was over gas just like I thought it would be. It was sending the empties about 20 or 25 feet away. So let's take a close look at this five position gas regulator. The guy's Reddit username is Yamaha Warrior 89 I saw his post on the Zestava Arms subreddit and sent him a DM to buy one. It only costs $90. The machine quality is top notch and the positions have laser engraved numbers. Positions three, four, and five correspond to the factory one, two, and three positions. Settings one and two are further reduced gas for suppressor use. First, I tried 223 ammo on gas setting two, the higher gas suppressor setting, and it wouldn't quite psych reliably. The gun was pretty dry, so I popped the bolt carrier group out and lubed it up. After that, 223 cycled great on gas setting two. I confirmed that 223 wouldn't cycle on gas setting one, that just turned it into a single shot. I then tested M855 and M193556 on gas setting one and it was right on the edge of reliably cycling, but not quite there. Gas setting two works great for 223 and 556 with this suppressor. I only have 250 to 300 rounds through this, so maybe once it gets worn in a bit more, it will cycle 556 on gas setting one. Maybe that setting would be for higher back pressure cans or hotter ammo than I have. I will link to the Reddit post about this gas plug that was posted by the gentleman who makes them. I love to see individuals identify a gap in the aftermarket offerings and step up to fill that gap and offer their solution to others. I try to support people who do stuff like this as much as possible and I would encourage you to do the same. I will reiterate. None of my 223 or 556 ammo would cycle on gas setting one or two without the suppressor. So if you're not going to be suppressing your M90, this gas plug won't do anything for you. But if you are suppressing your M90, I feel like this regulator is a must have upgrade. Before ending this video, I wanted to mention changing the gas setting on the M90. So when you lock this lever down to lock your gas tube into place, it pushes it forward into the gas regulator plug and then that gets pushed forward into the gas block. If you try to adjust this gas plug and turn it while this lever is locked, uh, you're going to have a lot of trouble and that's not the correct way to go about it. On new rifles, this lever is very stiff. I can just barely undo it, but you can see the gas tube is loose now. If you can't get this lever undone by hand, pull your bolt carrier group and these little slots right here that ride on the rails, you can use that to lever that up out of the way and release it. With this lever released and the uh, bolt carrier group installed so the piston is within the gas tube, you can still see the gas tube is now loose. I'm gonna take a little screwdriver, carefully pry up this tab, 
And now I can turn that gas regulator to the position that I want. I have also seen that these tabs are a little bit fragile. And so prying them up and down repeatedly can make them lose their tension. And then your gas position might change on you while you're shooting it. So what I actually recommend, pull your bolt carrier group all the way out, pull your gas tube all the way out, and then you don't have to bend that tab at all. You just stick it in your preferred gas setting and then reinstall it like so. And that, I believe, is the proper way to change the gas setting on the Zestava M90. Make sure, at least, if you're not pulling the bolt carrier group and gas piston, that this lever is loose and your gas tube is loose before trying to adjust this.